praise god everyone i hope we are all fine this is pastor sandra Bayingana here with a devotion for today that prepares us for the crossover service that prepares us for the year 2024 that um ushers us into the january 1st you know i hope you had a very very good christmas and boxing day um we thank the lord that has seen you through this year yes we haven't crossed over but i have faith for you that you're crossing over to the end because he has not brought you this far to abandon you i wish you a prosperous 2024 i can't wait for that night on the 31st as we are all together congregating worshiping praising the lord sharing testimonies sitting under the anointing hearing him speak to us and holding hands in agreement in faith as we are crossing into the new year 2024 in power oh my goodness i i think of that day and i don't know i'm excited i'm excited because it's a very powerful a uh, season in the life of a believer the transition itself is spiritual you know you you need to understand the power that comes with crossing over from one phase to the other as we walk through this season as i'm teaching you you're going to learn so many things you know so keep your ears on the ground do not miss listening to any audio this season just listen through let it prepare you my spiritual antennas my entire being is very very sensitive in such a season as this when i'm transitioning into a new year <coughs> because for me this is the foundation i have to lay for my new year it has always been like this how you lay a foundation for a new year matters a lot some people don't understand this but how you lay a foundation for a new year matters a lot you see so do not miss being part of the foundation of the year 2020 for by following in ardently if you've been lazy spiritually it's time to get up if you've been um if you've been down spiritually it's time to get up if you had lost your faith it's time to get up you know we are crossing over don't stay in egypt you see, don't stay in that old phase. We are getting into a new phase of our life. So get up wherever you are and let's run the race. I'm excited for you and me. And I'm, I have this faith within me and you. You know that what God is doing 2024 is bigger than we have ever thought. We have bigger than we've ever comprehended. I feel it in my spirit. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you see it like I'm seeing it. You know, I'm excited to hold your hand spiritually as we walk this journey. If you let me, of course, praise the Lord. Don't trip. Be focused. We are headed somewhere. Amen. Yeah. Uh, today is 28th. It's when I'm starting to preach. I'm preaching from the 28th to the 30th of this month preparing you for the crossover and for the january 1st okay um the crossover service which is this sunday is starting from 9 p.m to dawn the service on sunday is not a morning service it's a night service it's an overnight instead of a morning service sorry i had missed that so please note we don't have the sunday service at 10 a.m like we normally do but instead we are coming to meet on sunday night for the crossover service forgive me for that praise the lord um what else the the crossover will start from 9 p.m to dawn yeah and then we are going to start our january 1st on the 2nd of january 2024 and it's going to go up to the 3rd of february 2024 why third when you look at your calendar very well uh each time we have a first we have a closing service 
a service that closes that first. We normally call it the grand finale. So we have a grand finale of the January 1st. And when you look at the month very well, the month of January ends around Wednesday. So we have to continue through Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday we close. But that Saturday will be a February. It will be a third of February. So instead of closing our, our first on our Wednesday, we are going to pull it through to the Saturday of that week and it will be a third of February 2024. And that's when we shall have the grand finale of the January 1st. You see? So as we are fasting through, please note these programs and don't miss being part of them because they are very foundational for your year 2024. You know, yeah, so however, from 2nd of January to the 5th of January, I'll be preaching, particularly preparing you for the Thanksgiving service, which is there on the 6th of January 2024. If you've been in this ministry long enough, you'll understand that every year we start a year with Thanksgiving, you know, and it's always in the first week of the year of the year yeah the first third of the year so that is the 6th of january we are all meeting to start the year i i i i usher you into the theme of the year i usher you it's like the start it's like the exodus into the great year 2024 the crossover is to close the old chapter and walk into a new phase and then thanksgiving is like the actual exodus of walking into the start of the journey praise jesus so these are very important days of your life 2020 of your year 2024 i really stretch this out do not miss being part of any of these events whether physically or virtually what do we do on the thanksgiving we normally uh, give our first fruits to the Lord, you know. We normally give our first fruits to the Lord. So we've always been doing this from day one. And I'm going to, I know some people don't know about uh, first fruit. So from 2nd of January to 5th, I'll be teaching about the first fruit, you know, and teaching about the fasting itself to prepare you. To make you understand what you're doing and to do it in faith that you may receive the rewards that come from the from what you're actually doing so everything about your year starts starts in this phase that i'm trying to carefully work with you praise jesus do not let the devil channel you away in such an important moment as this amen it's like the planting season before you reap so from the 2nd to 5th of january i'll be preparing you for the thanksgiving you know as you're enjoying whatever you're enjoying in this festive season please keep aside your first fruit and give it to the lord as the year is beginning for thanksgiving praise jesus yeah so we'll close the january 1st with a powerful service the grand finale of the january 1st and that will be on the 3rd of February 2024. Praise the Lord. Now, today, as I prepare you for the crossover for the year 2024 and, and for the January 1st, allow me to introduce this to you. My message today is entitled Preparing for the New Phase of Our Lives. Preparing for the new phase of our lives. Let's pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. We welcome you into our midst today. We incline our ears as we hear from you speaking to us about the new phase of our life. What a powerful, what a powerful season for us. What, a, what a, an important season for us to be that we are transitioning from 2023 to 2024 we submit under your hand as you lead us and we promise to follow you as you instruct us and direct our steps in the name of jesus so holy spirit do your work through me i surrender to you as a vessel 
as a mouthpiece through which you're passing to speak not only to them but to me as well in Jesus' name amen may these words fall on fertile souls may everyone be geared up and steered within their souls to prepare the foundations of their year 2024 i rebuke and render powerless all forces of confusion destructive forces spirits that take your people of course i arrest them in Jesus' name and i decree that in this season each and every one of us shall be alert our ears widely open to hear from you as you direct us into the new phase of our lives in Jesus' name amen so preparing for the new phase of your life is the message for today and these messages are going to be patterned one message is going to lead to the other so don't break through the rhythm by listening today and then tomorrow you don't and then the other day you listen and the other day you don't i'm dedicating myself to walk with you it's like moses walking the journey of the exodus with the children of israel i am passionate about this phase of your life so i want you to be passionate to want you to take hold of my hand and say pastor sandra i'm agreeing with you let's do this as God is in the center of us, as the Holy Spirit is leading us, you know? And I guarantee you, whoever takes hold of this hand and say, we are walking this, we are agreeing, you are going to successfully maneuver through 2024. You are going to do great exploits. You are going to see things evolve that you've never seen evolve in your life. And I mean what I'm saying. You know, I tell you, I'm speaking to you about some of these things. At times, I, I'm like, I wish I could just open my heart and someone reads for themselves. You know, there are things that are so deep that it takes someone to be spiritually, I don't know, prepared to, to, to conceive these words and, and then give birth to what comes with the conception of these words. You know, that there was a word of Rema, like... I want someone to conceive it, someone to, to take it, someone to understand it, because it's true. Praise Jesus. Now, every year comes with its phases. Sorry, with its phase. Do you know that every year is a phase for your life? Do you know your life is phased? The first year of your life is a phase. The second year of your life, that's when your two years is a phase. The third year of your life, that's when you're three years old, is a phase. The 18th year of your life is a phase. The 24th year of your life is a phase. If you've noticed yourself grow, every year has been a phase. There was a phase when you were just being carried on your mother's laps. There's a phase where you began running there's a phase where you began talking there's a phase where you began going to school p1 p2 p3 university getting a job getting married da, 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 da. like every year comes with a phase and every phase has seasons it could be one year which is one phase and in that phase you have a season where you you begin uh crawling in that same year you have a season where you begin walking then in that same year you have a season where you begin running you see or maybe in that year you mimic words and then later you start speaking in the same year now those those occurrences in those seasons are called uh, seasons but it's a phase of your life coming with seasons so every year is a phase a new phase for your life it's a new new and then the word new phase so in every year you should expect different seasons to come into your life you if you study your life well things have not been the same year after year there has been seasons in every phase of your life we shall understand that with time so every year comes with its phase and as we evolve through the year through from one year to the other that's from one phase to the other as we are evolving you know each phase carries seasons now like for example physically a year has four seasons it has spring summer autumn and winter those are seasons of the year every year has those seasons so the same applies to your lives every year comes with seasons 
For example, in a year, there is a season of growth in age. You know, you grow from being 24 to 25 or from 34 to 30. That's, that's a season for everyone. There is a season in, in a year where you break through in a particular area. You see, you may not break through in all areas that you want to break through, but there is something you break through into, at least in every year. Or maybe you can get a job this year and still you're not yet married. You see? So everybody, if you look at yourself, there are places where you've broke through. You're like, oh, I finally got a job, though I haven't gotten this. So in every year, there is a breakthrough for someone or breakthroughs. There may be many. It may be one accordingly. In every year, there is a season of testing for everyone. All of us go through those tests. When you look at the previous, this year, 2023, there is a year where there is a season where you grew, you became, you made a particular age. That was your birthday. There was a season where you, you, you got a breakthrough in a particular area. There's a season where you received testing. Maybe you got debts that really took you down a, a journey of, of pressure. You know, there's a season of testing for each and every one of us every year. Hmm? There's a season of breakthrough, you see? So those are the, those represent the spring, the summer, the autumn, the winter. Like, the seasons change throughout the year. You see? That's something I want us to understand. However, as children of God, our life Today, as I was driving to somewhere, um, and I remember telling the Holy Spirit, let's talk, let's drive. It was a, it was a long drive. So I remember telling him, let's talk as, as I'm driving. I'm inviting you into this car, drive with me. I was alone. So I'm like, drive with me, you know, drive with me, Holy Spirit. Let's, let's have a conversation. And each time I pray in such manner, I'm always very sensitive like my mind is always very, very sensitive to take whatever he's going to say, you know. And as I was driving somewhere at, that, at some point, he told me, "Your life, life, life is a f life. Life is a step at a time. You see, you you have to chew each day as it comes, and and be expectant that day for today, and don't carry the burden for tomorrow." For tomorrow will take care of itself. But just be open-minded today. And, and then shoot today with all your might. And then rest and wait for tomorrow to come. Knowing that tomorrow has its own grace. You see? So what am I trying to say? Like, we are going to chew this year day by day. You see? Because you're not guaranteed of tomorrow but you hope to go through tomorrow. You see, you don't know what tomorrow holds, but you hope tomorrow will be better. So it made me understand we as believers, our job is to just hope, but we can't dictate. So you live by faith, but you can't dictate. You, you believe and leave God do the other part. What does that mean? It means as we are journey. Jan we are taking a journey into a year. We are actually taking a journey into the unknown. Like you don't know what January holds. You don't know what February holds. You don't know what April holds. You don't know what June holds. You don't know what December holds, right? But all you know is God is with me. I take hold of his hand and we are walking through this year 2024. You're expectant, but you don't know it all. So you don't choose the whole whole year 2024 and make a calendar of how things are going to be. But you you take a day at a time walking and discovering the plans God has for you. You know? So as we as we are expectant for the year 2024, we walk with God and we must be ready to face whatever is in there. There are good th things and there are bad things. There are happy moments. There are moments that make us unhappy. There are moments of breakthroughs. There are moments when you feel, oh, I'm pursuing and it's not coming through. But regardless, whatever it is, 
we as believers are supposed to be ready for whatever the year brings to us. You see, we're supposed to, we don't know it all, but we walk in expectant, whether good or bad, regardless, we are victors. We are more than conquerors. You see, I want to help a mind be prepared for the year 2020. For the book of Psalm chapter 34, uh, verse, uh, let me see. Psalm 34, verse 19 to 20, NIV. What I'm trying to say is, when I talk about a year, a phase of your life having seasons, there are good seasons and bad seasons, you see. However, in the good seasons, we celebrate, right? In the bad seasons, we also carry the same energy like you're not supposed to be defined your happiness is not supposed to be defined by the season you meet no all throughout the season you're neutral you're happy you're full of joy and it has something connected with what i was teaching on sunday where on on christmas sorry on monday where i was sharing with you about jesus coming in and giving you joy that is everlasting and he wants you to keep it day in day out whether things are good or bad, you see? So, that the, the reason why we get hit so much by situations to the point that we trip, of course, is because our mind, we live in denial certain times, and we don't allow our minds to be open to the, to, to the patterns of life, you see? The book of Psalm chapter 34, verse 19 to 20, says... Good people suffer many troubles, but the Lord saves them from them all. You see, what does that mean? It means even when you're good, you're righteous, you're doing the right thing, trouble will come. You see, they are saying good people suffer many troubles, but that's not the issue. What's the issue? The issue is, but God saves them from them all. The Lord preserves them completely. Not one of their bones is broken. You see? So, we are good people. We are children of God. We carry faith. We are prayer warriors. We listen to the word. We follow ardently. We do everything he tells us to do. Yes? So, as we walk into this phase of life, we need to be prepared all through. The good moments come, we celebrate. The shaking comes, we are still up strong. Why? Because we have a promise from God that even when the bad seasons come to us, he'll save us from them all and not even our bone, not any of our bones shall be broken. So this is the attitude one must have that there will be good and bad times, but in all, I am more than a conqueror. Actually, I love what the book of Psalm 112 says. Psalm 112 get there with me 112 verse 6 to 8 what does it say it says a good person will never fail a good person i'm reading from the <laughs> surprisingly i'm reading from the good news bible i'm so uh, i've never read from this bible <clears throat> Where I am, I didn't carry my other Bible. I chose to use a phone, but I'm using the phone, so I can't use my phone Bible. So I'm reading a good news Bible, so don't be... Sh do I don't know. Nothing wrong with it. I think it's for people who are learning to read the Bible, but mm, let's read it. It's a Bible anyway. So, Psalm 112, verse 6 to 8. A good person will never fail... He will always be remembered. He is not afraid of receiving bad news. His faith is strong, but he trusts in the Lord. You see, what's that? A good person is not afraid of bad news. Why? Because, but I think I have another version here. Let me see. I may, I may be wrong. I think I carried a Bible. 
only that I haven't um, unpacked some of these things. So Psalm 112, you'll excuse me. Psalm 112. Um, yes, 112. Now I'm going to read from the NIV. Psalm 112, verse 6 to 8. Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear for bad news, for their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear. In the end, they will look in triumph over their foes. Their foes are their enemies. So you see, they are trying to show you the bad news will come, that the, 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 the bad seasons will be there. But because you are a child of God, you have faith, you're righteous, you will not be afraid of bad news. So when I talk about preparing for the new phase of your life, the new phase carries different seasons. There's going to be seasons of breakthrough. There's going to be seasons of shaking. But what God is trying to do as he's preparing you for the new year is like, I want you to be consistent with me through it all. You know, to understand that even when the bad season comes, I am still with you. It doesn't change the fact that I'm with you. It shouldn't make you think you're alone. He, in other words, God is preparing you for to for, for preparing you to win all through, because the shakings are to test your faith, and that testing leads you to a higher glory, because there is no glory without testing. We read about that sometime back in the Bible. You see, so why is God sharing this with us? You know, we start a year well in faith with the Word. And then maybe things are going on well. And then you get a shaking in March. And then you lose your course. April, you lose your course. May, you lose your course. You start being shaken in your salvation, in your faith. Enough of that. We've grown now. We are now grown up Christians. I want you to grow up and mature for the next phase of your life knowing good and bad season 2024 here. I come. Let the good season come, glory to the Most High God. Let the bad season come, I'm ready for them, glory to the Most High God. That's the attitude of a, of a true warrior, you see? So as you're preparing your heart in such a manner, let me tell you, you're going to, 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 you're going to level down mountains through your faith. God is preparing you because what is ahead of you is big. Like, like the breakthroughs ahead of you are big. But, the, but that there's going to be testing before they come. So you need to be prepared to go through that valley and reach the finishing line where that crown is waiting for you. God is preparing someone for this one to receive. But you need to be prepared as a child whereby you're ready not to drop your armor. You're ready your armor of faith, not to drop your, your zeal, you know, not to be, because those things that come in to shake you, they are there to distract you, to see whether you can get off course. No, you're not supposed to get off course. You're supposed to run to the finishing race, the rest of the finishing line, sorry, without hindrance. I'm preparing a warrior here for the year 2024. I'm not saying 2024 is going to come with bad news. No, I'm just trying to make you new talk. Whatever comes, you're ready to grade it down, to trample it down, to step it down, to extinguish it with your faith. And girl, boy, we are going to see you do great things this year, 2024. I am just excited. You see? So God is creating in you an attitude that look here. When things come shaking, don't, don't let them take you, of course. Why? The Bible says when you go through the storms, they'll not take you. The fire will not burn you. Nothing has power to take you down. You have power over it all. It's a test. It's a phase. It's a season. Go through that season. The next season is waiting. You see? So, what's the attitude? We will not be afraid of bad news because our faith is steadfast on the Lord. People get hit so hard by situations because they live in denial. 
that they are not testing seasons, that testing seasons don't exist. So when testing comes, they are caught off guard. But if you know and are prepared for this, you become a soldier that is prepared for all seasons. Second Timothy 4 2 tells you to be prepared in season and out of season. That's it. Be prepared in season and out of season. There's going to be spring season, there's going to be summer season, there's going to be autumn, there's going to be winter. Be neutral through it all. But just know one thing you will conquer a 2024. You're getting good, good you're, you're overcoming great things 2024. You're touching great things 2024. You're becoming greater than the previous year. To, be, why? Because in you is God and that God is powerful and he's going to walk with you through the valleys and the hills and the mountains and the straight lands. And, and as you walk through it, you'll be ministering to people around you and they're like, wow, I love your faith. Wow, I love your zeal. Wow, I want to know your God. Whatever the season will be, 2024, stay focused. And above all, be prepared to act according to the seasons. Look at Jesus himself, for example. There was a phase in his life where he was born, a phase where he was being raised by Mary and Joseph, a phase where he was tested in the wilderness, a phase where he had to begin ministry, a phase where he had to die, a phase where he had to resurrect, you see? But in all those phases were seasons and we see Jesus going through them all, you see? Give an example to your own life. Assess your past year. There are times when things were good, there are times when things were a bit bad. The times where you struggled a bit. There are times where you were laughing. The times where you were down. But regardless of it all, you pulled through and you're here today. So learn a lot from your past year. How was January like? How was February like? How was March like? How was April like? But did you go through eventually? Yes. Did you die? No. You see? So growth is when you study the patterns of the previous year and say, okay, next year I'm even, 2025, I'm also ready for you. Season out of season, I'm ready for you. I am so spiritually grown, mature. I'm so spiritually mature, you know, that 2024, I am taking charge and control of it. Good or bad times, I am there. Good or bad times, I am up there. Good or bad times, I am stronger. Good or bad times, I am praising. Good or bad times, I am worshipping. Good or bad times, I am still walking with the Lord. And all I know is, regardless of what seasons and phases will be there, December shall come and I shall have great testimonies. And I shall look back and say, when you trust in the Lord, he does not fail you praise jesus so how do we prepare for the coming phase of our life you know in that phase some people are getting married in that phase some people are getting jobs in that phase some people are getting promotions in that phase some people are getting abcd but then in that same phase some people are going to for example, a relationship will end because God wants to take you to a better relationship. In that phase, some people will lose jobs because God is taking you to a bigger opportunity or out of being employed to being self-employed. In that phase, there will be things that will shake you, but they'll be shaking you to position you for another thing God has for you. The question is, are you prepared for the journey? Because in the journey, you, there's when you move on a smooth road, there's when you find potholes, there's when you find a roundabout, there is when it seems as if you, you, you've you lost your way, so you, you go backward and make a U-turn from another shortcut. But eventually you arrive to the destination. So what God is doing today, what God is trying to prepare us for in this phase is, I am looking for girls and boys, men and women who are telling me, God, take hold of my hand, let's walk through thin or thick, through what or what, we are together, let's walk. I will not be shaken. I will not wither. In moments of separation, I will celebrate. In moments of being down, I will still celebrate you. We are together. I will carry the awareness that you're with me. I am excited for the breakthroughs. I'm excited for the testings because the testings will lead me to a breakthrough. You know, like you having that kind of mindset, that is maturity. Praise the Lord. 
So that's what leads us to our next day, which is the 29th, which is tomorrow. This I have explained to you. How do you prepare for such a journey of the unknown? Living by faith and not by sight. You prepare for such a journey by fasting. And that's why we are doing the January fast. So tomorrow as I come back, I am going to prepare you as on how we are going to be fasting. What actually fasting means. So for such a journey, I've explained of, of good and bad times. The only way you can keep afloat through it all is when you start it with a fast and that's why we fast the whole of january our fast is actually telling god we don't know january to december of 2024 but we take hold of you we pursue you we call on you we embrace you that you may walk with us you see so cross overnight is us crossing over into the new phase of our lives in agreement January 1st is us taking hold of God. That, okay, let's start this journey. Thanksgiving is the actual exodus. Like we have started. Here we go. Holding together hands in agreement in faith. Let the journey begin. Praise Jesus. I hope you're excited as I am. There is nothing 2024 will bring that will shake me. There's nothing 2024 will bring that will put me down. I expect goodness throughout. Even in the bad times, I expect goodness. I am new to, I am spiritually mature. I've lived for 30 something years. So I know it all. Nothing can shake me anymore. So whatever it is, all I know is at the end of it all, there is joy. And I'm not prophesying that 2024 is going to be a year of of problems no what i'm trying to say is we are growing and we are evolving spiritually to be mature and neutral to situations when they are even bad and not be shaken by them because we know our end is good we're not afraid of bad news we are preparing ourselves maturing ourselves up to be happy all through to be joyful all through to be having our faith level headed all through to you know to to be carried by grace all through to to be to be to be unhindered all through to be focused all through you know to the end of the finishing line and we'll look back and say this is who we are praise jesus is someone with me on this God is doing great things this year, 2024. And your faith is what is going to move mountains. And that's why he's preparing you to have a heart that is strong. A heart of faith to go through it all to the end that is better and good in the name of Jesus. And that's why we are fasting in January putting on the full armor of God, setting the Lord before us that he may walk with us. Amen. So do not miss being part of the crossover as we put the old year behind and walk into a new year. Don't forget to fast as we take hold of God to walk with us the new year. Don't forget the day we move the journey of the Exodus together in faith after Thanksgiving. Praise Jesus. Yeah, so allow me to stop there for today. Reflect on these words. I repeat, these words are to grow you. Let every weakness you've been having in the past as a believer not be the case this time. It's time you're mature because you know how things run. You know how things are. You know the end result to your story. You see? You're neutral all throughout the year. In faith, because you have been trained a particular way to be prepared as a soldier for good and bad times, season and out of season, and regardless, you're neutral. You still have your relationship with God, you still afford a smile, the breakthroughs you celebrate, in the bad times you worship still, and that's the life of a believer. It should be a neutral life. So as we start the January 1st, we are 
taking hold of God and walking with him through it in the name of Jesus. And let me tell you something. The faith God is preparing you to have is going to move mountains you've never seen move. There are mountains that have been in your life for a long time. They are going to move simply because you have resiliently walked this journey of 2024 in faith. I look forward to seeing you win. I look forward to walking with you through it. I look forward to seeing you celebrate those milestones you're going to achieve. I look forward to seeing you resiliently walk in faith, ashaming the devil in every way. I look forward to seeing you succeed at things that seemed were impossible at, at some time back. I love you all and I'm praying for you all and I carry faith for you all as I'm establishing your own faith through the word that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus and what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard and what no mind has comprehended are the things God is doing for us this year, 2024. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed. Have a good night. See you again tomorrow as I lead you into step two of this journey. I love you guys. See you Sunday night.